Practice problem 2.20 reads, some of the naturally occurring isotopes of tin are 10118, 10119, 10120, and 10124. Letter A asks how many neutrons are present, and letter B asks us to write the complete symbolic notation. So I'm going to go up ahead and write our mass number formula. So mass number equals the number of protons plus the number of neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. Also, whenever you see some element name, a dash, and then some number, the number behind the element is going to be the mass number. So this is just another way of writing isotopes. It's not symbolic notation, but it is just another way. Um, what this notation takes into account is the fact that you can go to the periodic table and look up the atomic number for any element. Uh, for 10, as always, because the atomic number or the number of protons will stay the same no matter what version of the isotope it is, you can go to the periodic table, look it up, and that number of protons or that atomic number is going to be the same for all versions of an element. So it's just another shortened way to write uh, isotopes whenever you're talking about isotopes. So we have 10, 118, 10, 119, 10, 120, and 10, 124. Letter A asks us to determine what the total number of neutrons is, and we're going to use the mass number for that. So mass number 119 equals the total number of protons, which we know from looking at the periodic table here. Um, again, that is the atomic number, which is the number of protons. It's going to be 50 for every single one of these versions of 10. So 50 plus the total number of neutrons. And we can do this for, oops, this is 118, not 119. 118. There we go. We can do this for every single one of these, and, and it will only change just by the mass number. So 119 equals 50 plus x. 120 equals 50 plus x. 124 equals 50 plus x. We need to do some moving around for every single one of these to get n or x by itself. Whichever variable you choose to use is perfectly fine with me. Um, do the opposite and it cancels. So it will be 118 minus 50 equals your x. Over here it will be, these will move over and it will cancel. 119 minus 50 equals x. 120 minus 50 equals x. And then 124 minus 50 equals x. And whenever you do the subtraction, it ends up being x equals 68, x equals 69, x equals 70, and x equals 74. So the total number of neutrons are 68, 69, 70, and 74. So that's letter A for all of them. And letter B asks us to write symbolic notation for each. So all of their symbols are going to be SN because they are all versions of 10. They are all going to have 50 protons the atomic number is the same for every single one of them, and only the mass number changes. So 118, 119, 120, and 124. And that's it for symbolic notation. There's only so many different ways that I can ask you about protons, neutrons, electrons, and symbolic notation. Um, also about mass number, um, atomic mass, and atomic number. And so I think at this point, we've pretty much covered all of the different ways that I can ask you about this. So go through all of the problems again. Let me know after watching so far everything that we've done in chapter two, if you have any questions, and I would be happy to answer them. Thanks.